Hi, I'm Dr. Lena Wen, the Baltimore City Health Commissioner. And I'm Tom Manger, Chief of Police of Montgomery County, Maryland. So Chief, we are here today for International Overdose Awareness Day to talk about how to save a life from opioid overdose. Now, I'm an emergency physician, and in the ER, we use the medication naloxone, also called Narcan, all the time to save lives. And I know that if somebody is unresponsive and about to die from overdose, that I can give this medication and they'll be walking and talking again within seconds. And you know, the amazing thing is that uh, in, in recent years, the, the use of naloxone has expanded uh, into public safety. I know that our fire rescue service has been using it for a while, but just last year, uh, I, we started training police officers. And I know that there are police officers all over the country that are being trained with, for the use of naloxone. We also in Baltimore City strongly believe that every single person should carry naloxone in their pocket, in their first aid kit, in their medicine cabinet, because addiction does not discriminate and we all have the ability to save a life. The, the, the wonderful thing about this drug is that, um, for, especially for my police officers, is that if you, we encounter someone who is unconscious, uh, that you can use naloxone, and even if it's not an opioid overdose, there are no bad side effects, there's no Ill, uh, Ill effects if you use it. But I will tell you that we've had, uh, between the fire rescue service and the police department, we probably uh, dispense naloxone at least once a day, somewhere. It is safe, it's effective, it's immediately life-saving, and that's why in Baltimore City, I've issued something called a standing order, which is a blanket prescription to every single one of our 620,000 residents. As long as they go through a very short training, which I'll do for you today, they can get issued a prescription for this life-saving medication. And we've done, actually in our city in the last year, over 13,000 trainings in public housing, in jails, in in schools all across the city because we believe that everyone should learn how to use it to save a life. So show me how you show me how you do this. All right. So if we find that there is someone who is unresponsive, there are three simple steps that we have to follow. The first step is to see if that person is in fact unresponsive. So you shout, you can shake the individual and see if they wake up. If they do not wake up, the second step is to call 911. So you call 911 and then the third step is to administer the medication. There are two forms of naloxone. One is intramuscular, given through the muscle. The other one is intranasal, given through the nose. And I'll show you both of these today. The intramuscular version of naloxone actually talks to you. And so I'm going to open it. This trainer contains no needle or drug. If you are ready to use, pull off red safety guard. I'm going to have you pull off the red safety guard as if an instruct. If you inject, place black end against okay. outer Do you thigh. Want to then press firmly and hold in place for five seconds. So press and hold. And hold. Press and hold. And press hard. Five, four, three, two, one. Injection complete. And that's it. That is how you use intramuscular naloxone. Reused for training purposes. And I will show you also how to use the intranasal version as well. And this is another version that is, uh, that is readily available. Um, this is given through the nose. And mm -hmm. what I would do, and I will show you here, is I would put this in onto the edge of your nostril and inject. I'm not going to actually inject mm -hmm. here. This is very just similar. just that you would do that just by pressing your thumb. That's right. Up, yeah. Just once. Yeah. Similar to what you would do for Flonase, for an allergy medication. Right. Very easy to right. use. There are so few antidotes available in modern medicine. And we strongly believe that if there is something that each of us can learn today that literally takes seconds to learn, that we should all be able to save a life. And it's important to know, too, that it's not just about that saving the life in that moment, because we know that addiction also is a disease. It's something that requires long-term treatment. However, if we cannot save a person's life today, there's no hope for a better tomorrow. And if we can save their life, that could be the first step in their recovery. And I think this is what we uh, preach to our police officers that, you know, this, this is a disease, it is, addiction is a disease, and that if you are able to save this person's life, maybe that this experience will get them started on the road to recovery.
treatment exists and recovery is possible. We know that addiction has to be treated like the disease that it is. Thank you all for learning how to save a life using naloxone for opioid overdose. This is the first step to getting individuals into long-term treatment. There's still a lot more that needs to be done to reduce stigma and to encourage access to quality, affordable treatment, but it's so important for us to save people's lives today.